say hi. Hello, it is Nikki. Welcome back to the channel. Reggie was here, but I've since had to put her in because I had to redo parts of this video. Whatever, long story. I'm not using my mic right now, so hopefully you can hear me okay. So I just wanted to give you guys sort of the down low on what my plan is for this vlog. This is my first day off in a few days and it'll be my last day off for a few days. So I just wanted to be as productive as possible writing wise today. What does that mean? What does my sort of to-do list look like for today? This week, I did get a bunch of stuff for the fall done, so like prep for transferring to a new university and like course selection and stuff, which is a huge weight off the shoulders. I do have to buy some books for one of my fall courses, so that's on the list, but that shouldn't take too long. I want to do some investigating to see if I can find the best prices. I have to do some like house cleaning stuff that I've not been doing this past week or past couple weeks. We might take Reggie for a walk. And also I want to do some reading, which is sort of a tangent, so let me just divigate, go off track for a second, bear with me. I am in the middle of reading the Harry Potter series. I think I just started the fourth book last night. I'm like 70 pages in, but don't like unsubscribe or like run away because I know Harry Potter is a bit of like a hot topic or it can be a bit of a hot topic. And I mean, all my life I was told to stay away from it and to avoid it, so I did. As I've got older and got to a place where like I can start to decide these things for myself, I just decided, you know what, maybe this is something I want to sort of try and investigate and see how I actually feel about this. So I'm deep into the series. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't found anything that's like a red flag yet, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled, trying to just be discerning. The goal is just to like discern for myself what my conviction is on this instead of just taking someone else's word for it and not really doing any investigating for myself. I'll probably do a video eventually when I have a sort of like verdict about how I feel about the series, but until then, stay tuned. Okay, also one more thing. So I discovered a library recently, not the one that I have a card at, but my grandma got me a card at this one so that I can get books there, which is amazing. Like she's just the best grandma ever, but also it's just beautiful in there. I've been there for the past week or so a few times just to write and it's like so exciting it's so inspiring in there so that's one of the things i do want to do today probably while reggie's having her nap i would like to go to the library for a bit and see if i can just bang out like a couple hours of writing <laughs> solid writing sprint at the library. It felt long, <laughs> like it was kind of like a power sprint. I just went for a really long time, not really any breaks, but I did get like over 1500 words, which I'm pretty happy with. It's a really long conversation chunk that I need to write right now. Lots of like plot points that need to be dropped through dialogue, which is always a challenge, but I'll get there. The reason I feel like a time crunch with this project is that I told myself in this video that I was going to finish my fantasy project by the end of the spring, which kind of means like the end of June for me. I'm giving myself like those extra few days because I really need them. I did just finish writing my climax this past week. So that hurdle has been overcome. I'm over that point, but there's lots of like resolution stuff, winding down stuff that I still need to write. And of course, the cliffhanger. So 1500 words, I will take it. to wrap her up. 
I had a fairly productive day writing wise. I was able to get a lot of words down. I was able to do some reading. I was able to order my books for school. Those will hopefully arrive soon. So that'll be a lot of my summer reading. Some hefty British novels to get through. That's exciting. But I'm just really, really thankful. I feel like God kind of multiplied my time today and I was able to get a lot done and just get to those things that I can't get to when I'm working during the day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment below with what productive thing you were able to get done today. Even if it was just like getting some pleasure reading done or like getting a word down on your project, I would love to hear about it. Let's celebrate each other's successes. And as always, do not forget to spend some time in the clouds today. Bye from Reggie.